day everyone so for today's video we're going to demonstrating the different types of natai so we need a rope and a piece of wood so first is the plain whipping a line whipping techniques in general are used to prevent rope from frying this basically means that these techniques hold the rope together and prevent it from unraveling and breaking down into smaller fibers the first thing we're going to do is pick up one of the ends and fold a small section of it basically creating a small bite we're then going to place this folded piece on the, on the wood and with the longer end we're going to fold over the shorter end keep wrapping around we're going to do this until we almost run out of rope with your shoulder and remaining we're now going to go under and throw the loop on the other side and then with the end on the opposite side we're going to pull in our working end towards the middle once our, your working end is about at the middle point pull on both of the ends order to secure your whipping Square knot Square knot process is really simple and I'm sure you can also copy this because I will be walking you through it in step by step. So as you can see right here I have two rope ends. Now I'm gonna start by taking the left rope end and putting it over the right and then wrapping it around just like this. Then I'm going to take the right rope end and put it over and the left and wrap it around just like that. Bow line. The bow line is used to make a loop at one end of a line. It is tied with a rope's working end, also known as the tail and end. So the first thing to do is put a loop into this side of the line. Now taking this end of the line, I'm going to go underneath and through loop and then around this made of rope and back through the hole that is our bowline knot single picket bend or shawi cook shed bend is widely used by sailors for uniting two ropes of different sizes so first fold one end of the thicker rope back on itself to form a bend or bite Next, slip one end of the rope through the bite from behind. Now, wrap the end of the rope around both arms of the bite, crossing over the short arm first and staying below the trailing end of thin rope. Double picket bend. So, in the right side is the thick group and the left side is thin group. So first, fold one end of the thicker rope back on itself to form a bend or a bite. Pass the thin rope through the thick rope bite and wrap it around the bite and tuck it under itself. Next, repeat the previous step to double the knot and lastly hold the thick end and pull thin rope ends to tight in next is club hitch first wrapping your working end around your anchor then cross over your line and around your anchor again then slip the working end underneath your last wrap and pull underneath your last wrap and pull it tight round torn and two half hitches is a hitch used to secure the end of a rope to a fixed object first wrap the end around the support and wrap it around the standing part of the rope. Make another turn, 
take it out of the loop, tighten, and you are done.